Thank you, Bureau Chief. Uh, now, speaking of guidance, uh, let's show you what Samsung's doing after a seventh quarter of disappointing guidance and declining profits. That's what's expected from South Korean heavyweight Samsung, which, by the way, is Asia's largest technology company, June. I guess we kind of expected this since uh, 20 out of the 39 Samsung analysts have been ratcheting down their expectations, but they said that anything with the six handle would be disappointing, but still the stock is up. Exactly, Susan. Right before the guidance came out, uh, of the 23 local brokerages, two of them were uh, forecasting something in the high six trillion one. Uh, people in Korea were like, uh, definitely will be somewhere around seven trillion, at least above the seven trillion mark. But again, the guidance is coming in at six point nine trillion one, below market consensus of seven point one trillion one. This is down four percent year on year. But the stock is doing well. It's up 1.5 percent, of course, coming from the fact that uncertainty is out of the way. But also, I guess markets focusing on the fact that quarter on quarter, Samsung is showing and continued improvement is operating profit. So this is, I guess, where the positive stock moves are coming from. But again, the, we'll get the official breakdown soon um, when the actual earnings come out. But then uh, the smartphone business, business is continuing to report numbers that are weak. Um, the S6 and the S6 Edge smartphone were really looked on to help uh, Samsung back into uh, the game. But again, it does not look like the S6 and the S6 Edge did uh, too well in the second quarter. Uh, the, these were the flagship phones for the second quarter for Samsung. But um, according to CounterPoint, the, uh, they're expected to have been about 10 million phones uh, shipped out, but only about, four, uh, only about 6 million of them are seen to have been sold, with 4 million um, said to seem to be as left as inventory at retail stores. Susan, back to you. Yeah, and also the Edge, you know, that's a curved screen S6. Apparently, you know, they really missed an opportunity because they didn't book enough of these curved screens to match the demand. They, in fact, I think they were really conservative in their expectations, and hence they didn't make enough of these curved screens. So they kind of missed an opportunity, according to Samsung analysts. But still, though, you know, the stock is still up. It's um, interesting dynamics. Uh, thank you so much, Jun Yoon there in Seoul. So in Australia today, we are on Central Bank Watch. Matt,